Hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. Winter is coming. Many people may find it inconvenient to practice outdoors due to the cold weather, especially those who practice martial arts, which would need a bigger place to practice different forms. Instead, winter is a much better time to practice Xiu Dao indoors. Winter weather actually helps us to get into a meditative state faster than summer, so it is a great time to practice Xiu Dao. I have posted 10 Xiu Dao videos and each of them builds upon prior topics. You can find the link uh, to my Xiu Dao playlist in the description. I hope you will watch them all to get more benefit since the systematic approach would make it much easier to understand and follow often complicated and abstract concepts. Today, I will introduce an important practice in Xiu Dao called An Shen Zu Qiao. An Shen Zu Qiao is considered an important step in Xiu Dao no matter which Daoist school you belong to. Different Daoist branches throughout history have used different terms to express the same meaning. An Shen Zu Qiao is a perfect example of this phenomenon. Topics covered in today's video include first, Zu Qiao in Xiu Dao, second, An Shen in Xiu Dao, third, Meaning of An Shen Zu Qiao. Fourth, basic principle of An Shen Zu Qiao. Fifth, practice time. And sixth, take aways. So, without any further ado, let's get started. Topic 1 Zu Qiao in Xiu Dao. Zu Qiao, a term used in Xiu Dao practice, consists of two characters. Zu means ancestral, Qiao means key point or cave. Put together, it is a place that is related to ancestry energy. Ancestral in Xiu Dao means primordial, since primordial energy is ancestral energy to a practitioner. According to ancient Xiu Dao documents, one has to first figure out the Zu Qiao only after which practice will begin. Do you remember some time ago I introduced another term, Xuan Guan or Mystery Gate? Xuan Guan is a moment when our primordial energy rises or changes. It is a state, not a specific point in or out of the body. The title of the Xuan Guan video is Mystery Gate of Xuan Guan in Xiu Dao, number 7. Link is in the description. By understanding the term Xuan Guan or Mystery Gate, you will notice that many terms used in Xiu Dao seem to refer to physical areas in the body, but actually, they are not. Many Xiu Dao terms were actually created to express a process or a dynamic state instead of a specific physical area of the body. Please keep it in mind and it will help you understand the term Zu Qiao better. Since Zu Qiao is related to primordial energy, which is the energy that Xiu Dao practitioners work on in the energy refinement process, it is a key concept in Xiu Dao. Some ancient Xiu Dao documents described Xiu Zu Qiao as a place related to the primordial spirit. Actually, spirit or Shen here is only a part of primordial energy, which also includes Jing and Qi or essence and energy. No matter what, all of them are related to primordial concept. Therefore, it is critical to figure out the location of Zu Qiao. So, where is Zu Qiao? Well, historically speaking, it depends on the school of Xiu Dao. Basically, there are two schools of practice. First, 
Zhu Qiao is the sixth place in the body. Second, Zhu Qiao is the dynamic concept. Let me explain them one by one. First, sixth place. There are two areas that are considered Zhu Qiao according to this approach. The first one is the area close to the eyes, and the second one is the upper abdomen area. Most of the school of Xiu Dao prefer the former, which is the area close to the eyes. Now, the schools that consider the area close to the eyes as Zhu Qiao are further divided into two categories based on further specification of the exact area. One is the area behind the eyes. The other one is the center of the triangle formed by the area be between the eyebrows and both eyes. For the sake of simplicity, it is the area that is inside of the connection between the two eyes. By the way, this document, titled Xing Ming Fa Jue Ming Zhi, written by Zhao Bi Chen, published about 90 years ago, point out that Zhu Qiao is the fixed inside place between two eyes. Now, let's talk about the second fixed area, which is the upper stomach area. Please keep in mind that Zhu Qiao is actually the inside of the upper abdomen area, not on the surface. Traditionally, it is called Zhong Tu or Middle Earth. It is totally unrelated to the Lord of Rain. Since Zhu Qiao is related to primordial spirit, and uh, according to Dao Jing or Dao's documents, not to be confused with uh, Dao De Jing, spirit is stored in the upper Dantian. That's why most of Xiu Dao school in the fixed place category consider the area below the eyes to be Zhu Qiao. Of course, some Xiu Dao practices consider lower Dantian to be Zhu Qiao. Actually, that is the confusion between Zhu Qiao and Qi Xue or Qi Cave, another term used in Zhu Qiao. I will introduce the Qi Xue in the future. Second, dynamic concept. Now, let's move on to the second type of Zhu Qiao, which is the dynamic concept. In this case, Zhu Qiao is very similar to Xuan Guan, which has been briefly Revealed prior. The schools that interpret Zhu Qiao as a dynamic concept take the sixth chapter of Dao De Jing as their guiding principle. In the sixth chapter, Lao Zi said, quote, Gu Shen Bu Si, Shi Wei Xuan Pin, Xuan Pin Zhi Men, Shi Wei Tian Di Gen. End quote. Translation The valley spirit never dies. It is the mystery womb. The door to the mystery womb is the origin of heaven and earth. End translation. So, there are many other names for Zhu Qiao according to the dynamic approach. Tian Di Gen, or root of the heaven and the earth, is a popular alternative name for Zhu Qiao. So, what is the Tian Di Gen? It is the moment when rising primordial energy emerges inside the body. This is the dynamic concept of a Zhu Qiao, or the primordial energy increasing inside the body. It is a very abstract concept, which requires specific guidance in practice. I will talk more about it in the future. To summarize, the term Zhu Qiao or Ancestry Point means a place where primordial energy will emerge or change. Different schools interpret the location of Zhu Qiao differently, but the basic idea behind Zhu Qiao is the same, no matter what school. Now, let's move on to the next topic, Anshen, which is related to Zhu Qiao.
。Topic two， 安神英祖俏。安神 consists of two characters. 安 means to stabilize, to store, or to keep. 神 means spirit. Put together, 安神 means to stabilize the spirit, or simply to store the spirit. 英修道，神 or spirit。Is the term used to describe the primordial function of the mind? In other words, spirit is the primordial mind. According to Xiu Dao, there are two types of mind. First is the one we use in our daily activities. The other is the primordial mind or spirit. So, An Shen can be interpreted into first to stabilize our spirit, which we introduced already, and second. To keep our spirit at a place, since an has multiple meanings. Both interpretations of an shen, first being to stabilize the spirit, and the second being to keep spirit at the right place, effectively talk about the same meaning. When the spirit is stabilized, it is required to be kept at the right place. And the result of keeping the spirit at the right place is that the spirit has been stabilized. So both factors share a mutual cause and effect relationships. The authentic and traditional approach to Xiu Dao practice is that the dynamic rises in the static. In other words, in practice. You have to first calm down the mind and the spirit, after which the energy will rise. Then, from this point onward, everything will change. So, stabilization of the mind and the spirit is the first step in Xiu Dao practice, and this approach should be followed throughout the whole practice. Xiu Dao practice is about letting the spirit work by itself without manipulation by external factors. This is why the ancient Xiu Dao practitioners use the character An or stabilization to express the importance of applying the static approach in Xiu Dao practice, which is the opposite approach compared to modern Qigong practice. Topic three, meaning of An Shen Zu Qiao. Now let's move on to the round term An Shen Zu Qiao, which is the concept I'd like to introduce today. After discussing the two standalone topic of Zu Qiao and An Shen, it is now very easy to understand the meaning of the combined term. An Shen Zu Qiao, or to stabilize the spirit at the ancestral point. Understanding the meaning of An Shen Zu Qiao involves answering the question: How to stabilize the spirit at the ancestral point? Well, different schools have different practices toward this goal. Basically, there are two type of practices to deal with An Shen Zu Qiao. One is a more active approach, and the other is a more passive approach. So, how do you distinguish between those two approaches? Well, if you focus on a certain area, especially the area behind the center point of your eyes, that is the active approach. This approach is applied by most practitioners who want quick results. In my opinion, this is an incorrect approach since it goes against the Xiu Dao principle. Dynamic should arise from the static. Active focus on a certain area beyond a certain limit violates the traditional Xiu Dao principle. Now, let's talk about the passive approach in An Shen Zu Qiao. According to the passive approach. No matter what area you work on, whether general or specific, you should maintain passive awareness of the existence of that area or a big sphere around that area. 
I would like to emphasize this passive approach today since it reflects and follows the traditional way of practice. Again, in Xiudao practice, unless you are at a specific moment such as Chongguan or energy pushing through the gate, which requires a more active focus, a passive approach is the best solution in cultivating energy since it follows the Xiu Dao principle. The dynamic is based on the static. I will talk about Chongguan in the future. Therefore, in order to begin this practice, you should first be aware of the Zhu Qiao area naturally without a strong focus, after which the spirit will be stabilized. This is the key practice of An Shen Zhu Qiao. So, what are some basic principles of An Shen Zhu Qiao? That brings us to the next topic. Topic 4. Basic Principles of An Shen Zhu Qiao I'd like to introduce a couple of basic principles for practicing An Shen Zhu Qiao. Please keep in mind that this approach can be applied in many areas of Xiu Dao practice since it reflects the general principles of the whole system. First, Zhu Qiao Fei Dian Translation, Zhu Qiao is not a tiny point. I coined this term to clarify a common misconception about Zhu Qiao practice. Zhu Qiao is not a tiny point, it is an area, a space. Very often, people who read ancient documents may perceive the term point to be just an actual tiny point, with no dimensions. Actually, it is not. In Chinese language, Point means the center of the space or an area, and the term point is also used to represent the whole area and the space. Also, you have to know that paying attention to a specific point actually violates the Xiu Dao principle. Any strong focus will burn energy unnecessarily, which is the opposite of the objectives of energy cultivation and refinement. Primordial energy is refined, not burned. Second, An Shen Zai Yang Translation, An Shen means not only stabilizing the spirit, but more importantly, it also means refining the energy. I coined this term as well to clarify the misperception about An Shen. The term An Shen Zhu Qiao can also be explained as focus on the ancestral point so that the spirit is refined. Ancient Xiu Dao practitioners use the term An Shen to express the highest level in refining essence, energy, and spirit. So, the process of refining the spirit will not be limited to primordial spirit only, but instead, all of Jing, Qi, and Shen, or essence, energy, and spirit will be refined at the same time. So, the principle here is that you should not try to refine any of the three treasures or symbols in isolation since all of these processes happened at the same time. It is a very important principle since it reflects the fundamental principle of Xiu Dao which is maintaining a static state or status. For this video, I have only chosen two important principles for An Shen Zhu Qiao. Please pay attention to these principles so that you will make tangible progress in Xiu Dao practice. Now, let's move on to the practice section which I will introduce a finger stamp method as well. Topic 5. Practice Time For today's practice, I'd like to introduce an ancient method called Shou Yin or Finger Stamp. Shou Yin has been used in Taoist practice for thousands of years. It is used to create an energetic impact through maintaining a certain finger posture. 
I will elaborate on this Shou Yin Mo in the future regarding topics such as the history, style, functions, and so on. But for today, I will only introduce the actual practice used to help calm down the mind in An Shen Zu Qiao practice. The name of this finger stamp is called Zi Wu Jue. Zi and Wu are two places on the hand, and Jue means stamp. Let's take a typical method to demonstrate it, which is the left hand holds the right hand method. The tip of your left thumb touches the root of the right ring finger. Then, your right thumb and the right middle finger encircle the left thumb such as the tip of the right thumb and the right middle finger touch each other. Then, hold your hand together like this. Then, put your hand in front of your lower abdomen. Also, if you prefer, you can keep just separate your hand and put your hands on knees by keeping your thumb covered by other four fingers, like this one. Again, let me show the finger stamp again. Then, close your eyes. Breathe naturally and just pay slight attention to the space behind your eyes. You can practice this as long as you want, but I recommend a minimum of 10 minutes. Finally, shift your attention to the lower Dantian area for a few minutes. Then open your eyes to finish the practice. Topic 6 Takeaways Today's video focused on the topic of An Shen Zu Qiao and introduced some important Xiu Dao practices. First, Zu Qiao in Xiu Dao. Zu Qiao can be literally translated to ancestral point. The meaning of this term in Xiu Dao practice means the area and the space that practitioners should pay attention to. Different schools have different definitions of Zu Qiao. Second, An Shen in Xiu Dao. An Shen means stabilize the spirit, but the word spirit is not limited to mean only the primordial spirit. Actually, An Shen includes stabilization and refinement of all three treasures, Jing, Qi, and Shen. Three, Meaning of An Shen Zu Qiao. An Shen Zu Qiao is a practice in Xiu Dao in which, during a static state, primordial energy rises in the body with passive focus on a certain area, which is called Zu Qiao. 4. Basic Principles of An Shen Zu Qiao. Two basic principles were introduced today. First, Zu Qiao Fei Lian. Zu Qiao is not a tiny point, rather it is an area, a space, and the mental focus on it should be subtle. Second, An Shen Zai Yang. An Shen is the process of refining the energy. Also, An Shen is not limited to only stabilizing the spirit, but more importantly, it is for refining Sambo or the three treasures. Also, do not forget to watch the practice time section, in which I show how to use Shou Yin or finger stamp practice in Xiu Dao. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching, see you next time, and enjoy your practice.